Hi, August Falchigati on Shomer Alien, Jared Green, is Adam Dum. Hi, you're very welcome to the art room, my studio here in Dublin. My name is Jared Green. I'm a printmaker and painter, and I will be doing a workshop with you today on potato print making. Uh, this virtual printmaking workshop are brought to you by Lewin Gallery with the support of Creative Ireland and the Westmead County Council. And I'm in fact wearing a potato print here. This lemon you see here is actually a potato print made with textile ink so that it doesn't wash out of course. And behind me there are uh, two shirts. There's a yellow shirt printed with um, potato print block in the shape of a lemon with textile ink uh, and then uh, another shirt in uh, green with apples. Um, the first thing uh, I just want to say is about uh, safety, health and safety. It's very important that you, uh, that only a parent um, or a responsible adult does all the cutting of the potato and peeling of potatoes and any cutting of, of, of any of the potato blocks. Very important ask an adult or your parents to do this, it's really important. So um, I'll start by um, showing you uh, the first step really in what we're going to do today and here it is, it is a print, a potato print of a fruit bowl, an imaginary fruit bowl viewed like a bird's eye view from above and from the side and um, we'll be using the potato blocks to print all the different colours and the first thing that you'll be doing using a compass of course is to draw a circle and a half circle a semicircle and again ask your uh, parent or adult to do this for you um, and what we want to aim for is like you can see here this picture of a fruit bowl with uh, the different fruit at different levels layered over each other and eventually that's the, the picture we're aiming for um, and, and I'll just show you again something like this is what we would hope you to end up with um, you can see uh, the different colours and the different fruits and the different textures of the potato print I'm going to go through all the steps uh, now with you and here we have this step here which is you can see uh, a view of a potato uh, from above here and a knife and uh, the potato was cut into blocks and then the next stage um, you can see um, a watercolour pencil and a biro and the watercolour pencil is used to draw uh, an apple or a banana or whatever fruit you like on top of uh, the potato block after you've cut it and dried it with kitchen towel. The biro is used if you don't have a watercolour pencil you more or less engrave, you, you draw into the block the picture of the apple that you want to make and you, you sort of engrave it down into it uh, and then you're going to be cutting around your drawing on the block. So the next step here you can see these are um, the made um, potato blocks of an apple and a banana and you can see you can, you can, you can easily hold on to them and print with them. And so going on farther, um, you set out your colour, poster paint or acrylics um, and on a white plate or a palette or whatever you can find. Uh, so you have all your colours out there um, and a brush and uh, we have yellow, orange, red, violet, green and blue. So Bui, Arashte, Jarog. Gorham, Glass, Bon, August Dove. Now the next step, um, when you have cut 
your uh, say apple block in your potato um, you take the brush and you put some of the paint you paint onto it so that you'll be able to do your print so it's really you're putting your ink on now the next step um, you have the ink on your potato block which is in the shape of an apple and using a newspaper folded up you, you, you do a kind of trial print on it to make sure you don't have too much ink on the potato block and then you go from there and you print onto the paper after that so it's a kind of a test print you're doing um, and then if we have time um, after that here's another uh, thing we can do we can do pattern making um, so here you can see a, a lemon and an apple printed in rows and let's hope we'll be able to do that too now we're ready to go and I've been through all the steps with you now um, on how to make a potato print with the drawings and now we'll actually do it and I'll start by going through all the materials you're going to need and of course the, the main material you're going to need is paper uh, here is cartridge paper, uh, white paper you can experiment and use coloured paper of course at a later stage and then we have watercolour pencil um, and this will be used to draw on the potato block like I showed you in the uh, steps. So then we have brushes to paint on the blocks. We have a palette knife here uh, when you're going to be mixing colours and changing from one colour to the other to keep your colours uh, clear and clean if you like. Um, scissors which is very useful for cutting the cloth and the paper. Uh, compass for doing our, um, our um, fruit bowl. Uh, small knife for cutting our blocks uh, and then we have a piece of uh, toweling or cloth for drying the potato and for cleaning the palette knife when we're going to be mixing our colours. Then we have two glass jars of water to rinse our brushes out. We have a palette here, ordinary plates will do whatever you have at home, um, white plates probably the best. Um, then we have here um, our newspaper pad when you've put the ink on your potato block and you do your test print on the pad here so that you don't have too much ink or paint on your potato block and then bringing me on to this uh, ziploc bag which is a very handy thing and inside it you can see um, potato pieces blocks in the, in the shape of various fruits and um, these will be going to be using for printing but I'll, I'll show you how to make them now and, and um, the, uh, a little bit of vinegar in the water like I said earlier uh, when you've soaked these and then put them in the Ziploc bag and they'll keep in the fridge for three four days maybe and it's really great because they don't go they won't yellow on you too much and they won't dry out and it means you can keep printing so it's a, it's a really great idea and even inside here um, I've got quite a big potato block and this is the um, lemon that's printed on my t-shirt and of course if you get really big potatoes you can make really big printing uh, potato blocks from them so so it'd be interesting to see you know a really big potato print but this is fairly big to, uh, to start off with So now we've got, we've got those, so the next thing we we'll go on to then is poster paints and uh, I'm going to start by putting the paints out and, and mixing the, a little bit. So we, we have some orange here, I'll just put it out there so we have a nice bit of orange. Just put that to the side, um, some yellow, the orange is a rajta of course and some yellow here, bui. So we put some of that out. Um, then we have blue, gorum. A little bit there. Um, 
red, I have some out already, I'll put a bit more Jarog, Yogo and Jarog and Shin, a little bit there, um, some white, August Yogo and Bone, Shin, yes, there it goes, a little bit of it there, and we have a little bit of black, Dove, how she got holding. Now, um, so we have our we have our paints now, and here we have a palette knife. You don't have to ha use it, but it can be handy. And we have some brushes here. And I'm going to do a little bit of color mixing now. So I'm going to make a green gloss. So a little bit of yellow in here. I put the yellow in there now. Into there, and. We just get the cloth and just clean the palette knife so it's clean so you don't carry any of the yellow into the blue so some blue about half and half maybe but it depends so we just mix that now and there and we have this lovely green color beautiful green color okay so that's mixed in there now um, probably I could maybe make a little bit more I, I can I can certainly make more as as we go along and there we have a bit more blue in there. So we're mixing that there now we make our green. So there's there's our green. So keep cleaning the palette knife. Now I'm gonna make a, a little bit of colour mixing with the red here, small little bit. I'm gonna mix just a tiny tiny bit of one of the other colours in it. Um, it's great to use the colours straight out of the bottle, but it's it's, it's great too to, to mix and put a tiny bit of another colour, just a tiny bit, and it makes it richer. So we have that there now. And I'm going to put a little bit of the white across here where the yellow is, so we can mix a bit of that into the yellow. So we make it a bit lighter, because that can be useful for doing the banana and uh, as we need them we can just mix more colours anyway. So that's just a little bit of colour mixing to get us started off. Now I'll just put the palette knife back there, I'll put the brushes back there now and um, the next thing I want to do is um, draw a circle and a semicircle and that of course is going to be for our fruit bowl so the fruit bowl, from your imagination, or if, if there's a fruit bowl that you're looking at, whatever it is, um, I'm just going to draw it now here. So I'll just test it out now, let me get it a good size. So, okay, so uh, you have to tighten the compass, you know, or the pencil will fall through, so that won't be any good. So here we go, around we go. So around we go. And it's going to tighten it again. And sometimes the compass slips on you, so just don't worry about it. If it does, if it slips, it slips, you just draw back over it. And I never worry about making mistakes in art because I don't believe there's any really in art. You just keep working on it and it just gets better and better. Now, uh, so we just do the semicircle there now. Uh, just do it there, semicircle for that. So there we go. So we have that ready and we're going to be doing our fruit bowl. So I'll put that over there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get um, our potato. Now I think um, I'll just take this cloth now. Um, it's good to have another piece of cloth, of course, for the potato, so that you don't get paint all over. So I'm just using this one now, but um, but it's good to have two pieces of cloth. Um, so I've got a really good kitchen knife here now. So I'm just going to cut the potato down the side like that so that we can help to balance. So the next thing we do then is we cut 
slices across uh, just about a centimeter or so thick and as straight as you can well ask an adult to do this of course like I said for safety and for they they know how to do this straight down so we get those two there now uh, we have those pieces I'll put them back in the water so we have two pieces here now okay like in the um, steps I showed you you can just sort of straighten these up a little bit and I have two really good pieces here so I'll be able to um, draw the fruit on it so um, so the first thing I'm going to do now here is I'm going to draw uh, an apple on this one so here we go and you can see how the watercolour pencil really comes out clearly on it so a nice red apple here so I'm just I go lightly first and then you can go back over it go over it a few times and don't worry too much don't worry at all actually so there's an apple done on that one and then I can do a banana on this one so here we go around and then the top of the banana has that thin bit where it's attached to the tree and then it comes around like this and goes like that and you, you can go back over it again if you think oh it's a, it could be a bit rounder there so there there we have those done like that um, I want to take another piece now and I can show you this is just a tin piece here now but it's just to show you about using the biro and I'll just dry it there now um, so take the biro here and the same way if you want to do an apple so you just draw draw the apple in and press fairly hard on it like right into it press fairly hard down into it and, and that way then you'll be able to see the picture of the apple on it engrave it right down in and you can see there uh, fairly clearly that it, the biro does go down into it very well so we'll just get these out of the way here to the side and I'll start cutting out these so nice and easy round we go gently does it here we are um, round and round we go so I'll just get the top of it there now and just be a bit careful um, at the very tip there the little bit sticking at the top of the apple uh, and I'll just get that little bit there now uh, just catch it there uh, okay so there's the apple done I'll just put these over to the side and then we can do our banana so we just go like this and then you, you can kind of move the block around as you go like that and then take the top of it there like that and then go around like this and just be careful of your fingernails now like the way you chop vegetables keep your hands like this and your nails there like that and then go around like this and be very careful uh, just to watch carefully what you're doing for safety's sake so we've got a banana now and an apple we have them done there so so the next thing we do now is we're going to start um, the printing uh, and I'll just put that over there so and um, leave this over here to the side so we made a bit of space here now for ourselves and we have our paper and we have these two fruit shapes cut out and here's some that I, I'd made earlier on and I kept in the fridge in the Ziploc bag 
and um, so we, we just take them out there's a lemon there's another apple in fact two other apples there's an orange a pear and there's even uh, another banana so we have them all out there and um, there's colour on them because um, I was using them earlier on when I was making that print I showed you. So we can start off now um, and we'll just take, say we start with the apple and we can make a reddish kind of apple. So we'll just start there now with that. So, uh, so what we do is um, I mustn't forget the um, newspaper test like I showed you earlier so I'm just testing it here on the newspaper um, so there isn't very much ink on there at all actually I'll just move these to the side you have to constantly watch where you're working that you don't get over cluttered so just keep tidying so I'll put a bit more ink on it now I uh, will try it out. Um, we'll try it out now. So it's press firmly down on your bird's eye view, and that's coming out fair enough. Good. We'll try another one. Uh, we'll just try it like that now. And another apple. And if you like, you can paint as you go a bit on top of what you print it and then give it another print. Uh, the texture is very nice anyway that comes through from theatre printing uh, even if you don't paint on it but you can see the difference it makes there a second printing on it. Uh, I'm just doing it now as we go along so that we're getting quite a solid print and of course when they're dry you can print over them again so we'll just put that to the side there now and um, I'll just leave the brush there like that and take another brush and I'm going to do um, I think I'm going to do pears next so we'll have a look at this green color here and paint the green onto it and I'm going to touch a tiny bit of red in there just to give it a bit of extra richness so it's going to print down here, press firmly, okay I can see that one didn't come out perfectly there. I'll try again, press firmly, okay I'm going to paint in on this one now. Sometimes the blocks if they're not completely level you might have difficulty, so print back on it there so it's okay so inking it up again I'm going to try on the newspaper pad and see now that's printing a bit better so we'll try putting more on it got a little bit of tiny bit of red there so we'll try another one beside it press really firmly down paint it in a little bit there come back again press again okay I think we're doing well now okay I think we can have another pair I'm just putting a tiny bit of blue in there now on it actually you can do all this kind of mixing as you go so another pair and I'll just paint on it there print again put our pair to the side now I'm going to rinse these brushes out from one jar into the clean jar and when you're painting it's a very good thing to do as well to keep your colors clean so rinse in the first jar and then into your clean jar and then after that just you can dry it on a cloth and your brushes are clean and you know you won't be putting carrying color from one into the other uh, section of the palette. So we'll do the banana now. 
So we have um, a nice yellow here with some white. Um, I'm just going to put it on there now and we'll try it. Um, okay. I'll just paint it on there now. I'll just try it on the pad. Okay. I'm going to put a tiny bit of red into it there, into that. Because bananas are a different yellow than, than lemons usually, you know, you'll see though. Uh, it's just another yellow. Uh, so we'll try printing that on there now. That banana goes on there, printing nicely. Uh, can try again on our pad to check, see how it goes. Uh, another one there. And another one. Another banana there. Uh, and another one going across. I'll just paint that just there now. Okay, so that's banana. Um, I'm just going to look now. The orange. So take a little bit of the orange there. Um, I'm going to put a tiny bit of green in the orange just to make it a bit richer just a touch in we go with it okay so we'll try putting an orange in there uh, I'm coming back again to the newspaper just to yeah, get the ink going on it uh, so Come back again on it. Okay, I'm just going to paint that in a bit there now. So that's our orange. Um, I think I'm going to try a lemon here now. So, so we'll just take more or less pure lemon yellow. Uh, I'm just going to put a tinge of green into it. Um, just to make it a bit different from the banana even more so there is the lemon uh, we'll try it again there now every now and again check on the newspaper uh, that enough paint is going on the um, potato block so we'll just go back on it again I'm going to paint on that there now and then Okay, it's coming together uh, well. Um, I'm just going to look at the pear again. I'm just going to look at the pear again. I'm just going to give it a little bit, a uh, small bit here on the pear. It's going to print back on, on the first one and just give it a little bit extra boost. Okay, so now we need to go to the side of the um, bowl. So um, I'm just going to get the orange here again, um, so it'll be in there, I'm going to paint it around and back on it there, uh, I'm going to do the bananas here, uh, get them there from the side. You get good at this after a while, and it's such fun to do. There, it's really the banana's doing really well here, printing. Lovely. Here we go. And we do another one there. Okay. Um, we're going to do um, the apple. So I'll rinse that out. Uh, we'll try we'll try a little bit here of the apple. I'm going to put a little bit of orange into that there. A little bit of the mixing of the colours makes it very rich. Uh, so print it there. And then again. Now another apple. You don't have to uh, use the paper pad all the time because you, you, you learn after a while what's working on your particular potato block 
You see that's printing straight there now. Um, no problem at all with it. Uh, so coming back to the pair, uh, rinse into our paint there again. So our pair, a little bit of blue on that there. Okay. Okay, so um, one there like that. It's going to fix it there. Print again. Okay, um, I'm going to make it. So another pair. And it's printing over the orange, you can see it there. Uh, I'm just going to go back again to it. And the overprinting really uh, gives it a lot of depth. Now it's going outside the bowl there, but that's no harm. Just rub it with your finger or whatever, it's no problem. Um, the lemon needs to get a go. So we'll just do we'll just do the lemon now there. Uh, can put one up there on top. And um, that's pretty good, I think. I'll do one more pair, I think. Uh, okay, I'll just put it there like that and like that and it's coming out pretty nicely I think. So I've all the brushes here uh, ready to do another little bit. So okay we've got this now um, and I'm going to put it over to the side. Um, So you can see it there. There you are. So I'll move that over to the side. And we'll do a little uh, bit of pattern making here now. So I'm going to use the apple and the lemon. So let's start with the apple. And you can just do this by eye. So I'm making it up. Put a little bit of orange into that. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go back over these again. A little bit, I'm putting a little bit of orange here, there into that red colour there. Give it a bit of extra life to it. Uh, so printing down. Uh, fix that a bit there. Uh, and if you have enough, uh, if you have a big enough brush, you can just keep inking up the potato block the whole time. So it's printing really nicely when you when you've got a first layer on it. You know, it really goes really well. So here we go on top of that one. Fix that a little bit there. Just go back there now. Uh, putting the ink on again. On top of it there. On again. So we've that road done now. I'll just fix that there. Yeah, that's okay. So just leave down the red brush and I'm going to make this brush, I'm going to clean this brush so I can put yellow on it for the lemon. So straight into it. Um, we can just do a little test here, maybe a bit more. And I'm going to do the same thing again. One, two, three. And I'll be going back over those. So putting more paint on it again I call it paint sometimes I call it ink the other times because when you're printing it's called ink but we're using paint uh, poster paint you can use acrylics as well uh, which are water-based of course and um, I'm putting on this now the second coat uh, touch it up with the brush if it goes a little bit off uh, and you can leave the texture too if you if you like. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one there now just so that you can see. 
the, the kind of texture from from that one and, I, and I'll just print on this here I'll fix that one there okay so there we have our pattern and you can continue on of course and fill the whole page and if you get some textile ink um, of course you can print on a t-shirt or a, a piece of cotton anything you like and when it's dry you iron it and it won't come out when you wash so that's the end of the workshop and here we'll have a look at what we did so here's the um, bird's eye view of the fruit bowl potato print and the side view and you can see all the lovely colors and shapes and textures of the fruit in the bowl and uh, also we did pattern uh, with apple and lemon and you can see uh, that you could very easily finish it off yourselves eventually when you hopefully do have a go at doing it and I'd just like to thank you all for watching uh, this video workshop and a uh, special thanks to Lewin Gallery, Creative Ireland and, and uh, Westmead County Council for their support in, in uh, making this uh, video workshop for Crinu Nanog. And I wish you the very best of luck making your potato prints in the future. And don't forget, have a go with textile printing uh, with the potato prints as well, getting the special ink for it. And remember, safety is very important. Always ask an adult uh, when you're doing your potato printing to cut the potatoes for you and using any scissors or anything like that. Always ask an adult. So all the best for now.